This upgrade to Adagio Bankrec version 9.2a has updates to deposit date handling and how receivables cash batches can be retrieved. In previous releases, it was possible to set up receivables payment methods to create separate Bankrec deposit batches by date when posting an AR cash batch with many entries. But some types of cash processing, such as electronic fund transfers, is harder to reconcile if more than one has the same date. Now it is possible to separate individual cash entries into respective deposit batches in Bankrec with a new setting on the payment method, batch by entry. When this option is set, all other options related to Bankrec batch creation will be disabled because the intention is to separate the entries, not append them. After cash entries are posted in receivables and retrieved into Bankrec, each entry will be created as separate deposits. Deposit batches have a specific deposit date associated with it. Handling of this date is improved. When an existing deposit batch is appended to, either by the retrieval from receivables process or by manual editing, if a new receipt is added that has a date later than the deposit date, now the deposit date gets updated to this date. And when deposit batches are posted, the ledger transaction batch is calculated from the deposit date rather than the individual receipt dates. For multi-currency users, it is now possible to assign different currency rate types for payments and receipts if you use differing types in payables and receivables. On the bank setup, the check rate type is now separated into payment and deposit types. When a deposit is created in Bankrec, the respective rate type will be used to determine the exchange rate, and posted receipts will be created in receivables with the same rate. Payments use the bank payment rate type, and posted payments will be created in payables with the same rate. A new feature that will become standard to Adagio programs is to complement the Adagio menu with a customizable toolbar that can open or bring to front other Adagio programs. To enable this new toolbar, from the File menu, open User Preferences. On the General tab and in the Settings by Company, select the Adagio toolbar for display. All installed Adagio programs for which data exists for this company will be listed here exactly as displayed for the Adagio menu. From here, you can choose which applications are visible on the toolbar and remove programs you do not require. Also, use the arrow buttons to sort the program buttons. Save the user preferences to see the Adagio toolbar created at the top right side of the window. Depending on the size of the window, and the number of selected programs, the buttons may be displayed in more than one row. Buttons may also be modified directly from the toolbar. Drag a button to another location to move it. Drag a button off of the toolbar to remove it. And right-click to see a list of unselected programs in order to add a button. The entire toolbar can also be hidden from here if desired. When a button is clicked, that Adagio program is opened for the same user and company, just as if the Adagio menu is used. The main difference is that if an Adagio program is already open for the same company, that program window is simply brought to the front, rather than opening a new program instance. This will make toggling between multiple open Adagio programs easier.
new setting that will become a standard feature in other Adagio programs is available to apply to all record and finder grids to applied colored banding for easier display. To enable this, from the file menu, open user preferences and in the settings by application, choose ignore style properties to enable banding. This will override any styles which may be on a grid. Then enter the number of rows that make up a band and the row background color for the banding. Save the user preferences and open a screen with a grid to see the banded display. In the case of a grid that supports filters, there is a button that allows toggling between the banded grid display and view with automatic or manual styles. Also new on grids with a selected filter is a display of the number of records determined by the filter as compared to the total number of records. Adagio Bankrec 9.2a and all future upgrades at the 9.2a version has a new underlying report structure based on a more current version of Crystal Reports to simplify installation and removing the need for report tables and directories. For this reason, if you use custom or modified Crystal Reports, they will need to be converted to the new standard. To find out how to do this, Click the link to the video demonstrating the use of the report conversion utility and also the new version of print tool required to print custom reports. For users of Adagio ePrint, a new code is available to embed the report date into a PDF file name or directory if this differs from today or the date used to sign on. In the ePrint options of reports that have a report date, Use the percentage CDT code to include this value. When printing to PDF, the directory or file name will use the report date and updated when the report date is changed. <laughs>